This is not a clickbait. Like I promise you, after seeing this, your life as a musician is going to change. Like it changed for me. This thing changes the game. What's up guys, how are you all doing? I'm Reorder, I'm a trans music producer and a DJ. Today I'm gonna show you something that, as I said in the beginning, is going to change your life forever. Now if you struggle with making melodies, you are in a producer's block or writer's block, or you just really don't have a mood uh, or energy to create melodies, this tool is something that will absolutely help you out. It's a tool that was created by my friend Meyer that should help you create trance melodies in like two, three minutes, maybe five. I couldn't believe it, so I had to look at it and I had to try it out. And this thing is incredible. This is what we're gonna be doing. Yeah, baby! Woo! If you're wondering how I made these leads, just check this link. So what Paul created is this pack which, as I said, has 160 midis. And you just drag and drop them into your DAW and here you see you have the baseline laid out for you. All of these are actually transposed to A minor and major scales. So everything is A and uh, it's all white keys. So how do you actually use this? There's actually five different steps. First one, as I said, is that you import a sub. For now, I'm just gonna like delete this part. This shows you the bass note. So the step two, choose your rhythm pattern. You have 60 of them to choose, plus there is a bonus from myself. You could see it in the last video when I showed you the trans riffs. So you can use those as well. And it's pretty easy. Let's set a timer and see how long it's gonna take. Let's start with this one so we can hear it. So this is how it actually sounds. So as I said, these are all in A minor. So we're gonna set our scale to A minor and we're gonna push scale button over here. So we only can see the scale notes. Now we're gonna highlight the top part over here. Click on the focus so we can only see one of those midis. I wanna do the lead. And now I'm just gonna zoom in and we're gonna move these notes down to fit the bottom note, which is also the bass. So we always do it like this. Just make sure that you always are in the scale mode. Otherwise, it's just gonna jump out and it's gonna be out of scale. I'm gonna put it up by one octave, but if you wanna do this really fast on both of the midis, just undo the focus and shift it up. And there we go again. You can hear that it's already sounding pretty nice. By the way guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss any future uploads. Now, if, if I'm in a scale mode, I can now play around with this and create my own melody. I'm gonna try taking this one down and maybe over here, I wanna go back up and return to where I was before. Let's have a listen how it's gonna sound and the melody should tell you like what's coming next. I would go down over here. And here I would just do this note and come back down here. So like go back to that C over here. I'm not actually happy with this. Let's have one more listen. So maybe we go down here so we go up to that C. Okay, and that can loop all over and over. Let's have a listen to the final melody.
let's check the timer. See, I told you. This is super fast tool. Of course, don't forget to check out the links in the description. You'll find the links to the whole pack. It's been released on readyformasterclass.com. Inside you will find 160 chord progressions, 60 plus rhythm patterns, some bonus content and 16 MIDI patterns from myself as a bonus for free. Of course, it all comes with a masterclass, which will explore how this can be used in different scenarios. Now, it wouldn't be a great trans track if it didn't have a path that we can use in a breakdown. So how about we make a really simple pad? For that, let's insert the serum over here. We're gonna call this pad and I'm gonna go to my latest bank and I'm gonna pick a pad JP8X. This is the one we're gonna use. What I want to do now is to copy same pattern that we have in this pad. That's our bottom note. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on scale, a minor, and I'm in a scale mode. So I'm gonna copy this, command C, command V, or control C, control V, and shift up. Now, I have the same notes of the progression. Now, what I want to do is skip one here, skip one here. And that's what I'm gonna do on all of these notes. Basically making like super easy chord progression right here. Let's have a listen. So th this one over here is called a Devil's Chord. So we're gonna have to figure out a special trick around it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this tool and if it's something that you would like to try out. But first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off the scale. And I'm gonna look at these uh, little progression that we have. So we have a minor. How do I know it's minor? Because the first two notes are separated with just two empty notes. Second one is the same one. This is a major because there are three notes in between the first and the second, or you can call it first, fifth, and the seventh. And then we have a major, and then we are back into the minor. When we have a major, what we can do, we can do something which is called suspended note. We can take the middle note and put it up by one or down by one. In this case, I wanna go in here because I have a same note here. If you look at these two, they are both in E. So I can just do this. And over here, I can again, just put this down. By the way, moving this one to this connects these two together which in the end creates a really nice progression. And when you have the connecting notes in the melodies, it always sounds really great. Now in this last one, I would actually go down here because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit better. And this is the tricky one. Now I see I'm in a B, but what I can do is change the top notes to follow something that includes B, but is not part of the B. So I'm thinking E, G, and B. I'm gonna take this one, which is the E, put it down here. And I don't wanna take this one, put it down to the G. And this includes the same note, so I can put this one up and it should sound great. And there you go. Now we have the pads and we can now play this all together. There you go guys, we made the melody and the putts in just like 10 minutes tops and now we can just create a full track. Now why is this a great tool? Like anytime you get to a point where you're stuck and you don't know what to do with the melodies, just get the MIDI pack, use the bass note, create your own melody, create the chords and you're done. Like there's nothing else that you need to do. And that's all guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to, subscribe so you won't miss any future uploads. Thank you very much, and I can't wait to see you for the next one. Ciao.